about? Well, it happened when I was a year and a half. I had a disease called uh, fibular hemomelia, so that you're born without your tibia bone. Uh, and then, uh, and, uh, like your ACL and PCL and things like that. And so they did like an amputation called a Boyd amputation. Um, and that's where they take off your foot and then they reattach kind of like the heel to provide uh, padding and stuff. And then I've had like seven or eight surgeries uh, after that just to kind of fix my knee and stuff like that. Um, and I had a ma really major surgery when I was like seven or eight. And then after that, it was kind of like home free. And uh, I was able to really compete in sports. Uh, I competed a lot in basketball and things like that. Then got into water polo later. Uh, my cousins played water polo, um, and so I and they went to the same high school I went to, and so I had gone to their games, uh, and I'd met their coach uh, Tom McKinley. He was kind of the one that really got me into playing. He was the first high school. He was my high school coach, and then I went like to summer sessions with them, uh, just kind of like in the water, uh, playing around and stuff, and that's kind of how I got into it. Yeah, I wanted them out of high school at Webb. Webb was a really good academic school, and I, I have to do a lot of recruiting for it really good school so I never knew who was even going to get accepted here first and uh, he had good grades and I wanted him out of high school and it was really be I think between us and LMU and like I said LMU offered a little more money academically and that was like a main reason why I ended up there and that, that's when I knew him. I, I realized I really missed playing water polo and then I emailed coach uh, and he said oh yeah we could we, we could try it out and so uh, I tried out I made the team and the rest is history. He plays a position that we're actually really weak at, really, a center and two meter, and we need that. We have a lot of speed, which actually he's not, he's t he mentioned that too, that he's a little bit slower of our, in our group, but we need somebody actually in the middle, and that's, you need that, and he's stronger up here, too. He's so much stronger up here, and we do pull-ups, too, in the weight room, too, and I mean, he goes up and pulls himself. He can let go, because he's so strong, upper body and then grabs it again. He's, he's, he's so strong, upper body even. Like I said too, he uses that one leg too, uh, to his advantage sometimes too, in, in, in center, inside. So. Um, I think I'm pretty physical of a player. Um, I think I, I'm not maybe the, the fastest, but I definitely have uh, the endurance. Um, and so I just try to keep chugging along, kind of like. Uh, and so down and said, I'm definitely really physical. Uh, and if I try, I just hold one side and I'm really grabbing, I grab a lot, so I guess you gotta watch out for that. Um, and if I do have you and I do grab you, I'm pretty much not gonna let go because I have that strength. Yeah, he's physical. He has to be uh, with his, he has to use his arms a lot. And actually he uses that other leg too a lot to wrap up behind him and wrap the other guy in and it drops the guy's hips down and legs down, which is perfect for a two meter D, two meter player to be able to, to turn him. And he earns a lot of ejections too because he can do some of those things that other people actually can. Yeah, he, he's been great in the middle, yeah. Oh, I love this team. Everyone, even from like the very first day, everyone was pretty, at least to me, they were really like, they really tried to help me out, make sure I was okay, you know, like no one really treated me any differently. Obviously people had questions, um, but I really, I really love this team. Yeah, we have a, we have a good connection with every one of the guys from top to bottom. Um, and everyone seems to work pretty hard and really want to succeed and win Sky Axe this year. So and that's our goal and everyone's on the same page. I've seen people point, uh, like behind his back. I've seen that to other opponents, but during the game, they just, I mean, he, like we, we shake hands, he puts his leg on uh, and walks, walks by. I don't see any pointing or any comments really from that. I've had recruits email me too because of the, the story that's out there too. And other people, other just random people emailing me about him. And uh, it's, it's great to get that story out there. I, I don't know, I, I've, uh, some of people actually have actually like Facebook messages from the story uh, on uh, the OC register and stuff. So yeah, people have come and asked me because they either have friends who have prosthetics or they themselves have a prosthetic. Um, yeah, I, I hope I try to, I haven't had like a specific person come and say, oh man, you inspire me, but I hope that like maybe somebody with a prosthetic sees it and gets a little bit, feels a little bit better, has a little more hope that they can do. I mean, I've looked in terms of swimming. Uh, I'm actually going to try to go this spring and try for a Paralympic meet uh, and go from there. I'll, try, I'll probably be swimming here. Uh, 
at Chapman and trying to get back in shape for uh, Paralympics and stuff. So yeah, I might shoot for 2016 Rio, you know, that, if that's an option, but uh, that's a long ways down the road.